for the banker because the banker then looks at project specific risk a banker may say sir i'll give money for spv1 not for spv2 ha huh, i'll give money for spv3 not possibly for spv1 spv2 the fact of the matter is this is where you also need to understand and i'll talk about this in a slightly <coughs> longer tenure when i come to structuring in detail we are talking about what technically is also known as another jargon that they use for spv it's in india what is more jargon is right spv is also common nowadays thanks to colleagues like deloitte with an international flavor but typically so those who are looking at nationalized banks they call it as special purpose entity so if you are talking to somebody from sbi caps who oh, could same thing only he will say special purpose entity oh for this power project let's have an spv which is formed and then your cash flows come in there and from cash flows we will discuss this in detail later right after i get the grounding going you can have either pay through or pass through structure which we will discuss a pay through or pass through structure <coughs> please note this entire discussion that i brought in up here is today pe and vcs will come into not into your parent company they will come into your spv uh, without naming the colleague uh, is one among you all possibly right uh, priyank's company right for his juhu real estate project right maybe you all are funding it right right he has got kotak mahindra into his juhu juhu project while for it he is his dad rather is a veteran in sra for his munun project he says i don't need any funding but this juhu is a much bigger sra project sir here i am getting into it right i have already talked so please note uh, real estate financing today is happening less of equity and more of convertibles but we will talk <laughs> more of convertibles we'll talk about that we'll talk about that i don't want to really stretch preliminary expenses one last time i'll, I'll discuss this in detail i'll come back to this right why i'm taking this process during lunch anybody wants to clarify the basics should talk to me then i'll take this advance pay through pass through i know for some of you it will be really taking to a highest level sorry i will not dilute my standard i'll keep it high discuss with me during lunch time we talked about issue expenses we talked about issue expenses point to be noted is before i go to pre operative i would love to take two more questions on preliminary because then i'll straight away come to pre operative expenses yes pranav ji drag along yeah please yes anyway sir or it could be because of the valuation the number of shares are not enough so that you are okay drag along correct so if uh, nice question if uh, this guy is selling to somebody else and that somebody else says i'll invest in your company only if i have 40% and the pe has only 25% you would drag the promoters along make them give 15% to go there drag along uh, my voice is changing right my face is is one of the most draconian clauses which goes against that's why i advise actual my clients you can ignore me a hai to chhod do usko go to somebody else and today there is these are not the only guys ha uh, if it is vc then you accept it pe you have got many of these players into india today you seem to be wanting to ask yeah please yes both the cases public issue expenses this is issue expenses what we mean sir is we are not talking of taxes we are talking of investment banking fees underwriting fees listing fees brokerage all that is accounted for you want to know that taxation part just give me two minutes i'll talk about that Please, one sec. Before that, Samiji has been very patient. Yeah. Uh, so all the SPVs, how do they provide security? Get very nice. Security of that. I knew you wanted to ask something. Security of that particular project. It's For. It's still on paper. No, no. But please understand. Tata Chorus. Very nice question. Thank you for your smile. This was an existing entity. It was a running company. So you know, at the end of the day, when market goes down, there is still something that you can sell. There is an there is a 
physical thing. Whereas, for example, in IT companies, there is no physical asset. It's all intellectual property, which people may or may not want to touch. Sudhir, you want to comment on this? What do the bankers do? Which is which is where uh, an IT company, according to me, is a fit case for VC PE, not bank loans. So, apka uh, due respects, apka agar banking ke paas ap jaoge, and if you are asking me as a client, I'll tell you, if you go to a bank, what he will do exactly same thing. He'll say no collateral, either he'll jack up the interest rates and then sorry, he'll drag your personal guarantees into play. So, apka right, right, apka jhu ka bangla mujhe chahiye. Right, make think. Right, the fact of the matter is, why is, is the bank doing it? Is so bank funding IT ideas ke liye mati jao. Because though they are saying we are funding ideas, wo apse collateral mang lega. Today we are in such a stage that even a nationalized bank, even for an educational loan of three lakhs, forget your IT and all that. Educational loan of three lakhs, he says, get your house papers. The kid says, I don't have a house. Are you don't have a house, but your father has a house, no? Get the house papers. Can I say something out of sheer social benefit? I know it's not part of my relevance of my course, but I want to tell you all this. As per RBI guidelines, right? Educational loans up to four and a half lakhs is supposed to be given unsecured, and that limit from I am a part of Indian Bank Association. Use it if you can. Somebody benefits, I'll be happy. Please note, and that limit will be enhanced from September up to seven lakhs. So technically, the bank is. Is not supposed to ask for a collateral, right? But people are not aware, so right, collaterals are given. Right? Uh, for those of you are looking, I can see some of you are making a note. It's section three two, right? Uh, circular four, education loans. I'll take one more query if there is anything. Parthi ma'am, yeah, same thing. Yeah, please. In such case, then I would suggest, uh, Sabir, nah? huh. Sabir ji, then rethink your bank uh, loan strategy. Rethink the bank. That's also a good point. That's also a very good point. Uh, with, without naming any other bank, currently I find that uh, corporation bank, union bank, we find much more flexible. Mm -hmm. Then, right, and if you are up to a certain size, with due respect, I am not defaming anybody, then it still makes sense to be with a cooperative bank. Because you are small fry for State Bank of India, but for a cooperative bank, you are a bigger. So maybe a 0.5, 1% more to a cooperative bank will still, they will still give you customized products. Rather than, it, it's like saying that I'll be a big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond. That is where the choice is. I'll take one last query. Yes, please, sir. Agreed. Which is where, uh, Harish sir, I'll come to that when I come to pay through passes. I'll talk about it. I, I, right? I'll tell you why I'm taking a break at this point of time. So some of these colleagues are very polite, but I've introduced concepts which are very advanced. So during lunch time, I want them to come to me and say, oh, SPV, repeat. Karo. I'll tell you very frankly. The moment I do that, then for them, it's pay through. And I have no problem, sir. You can catch me during lunch also. But these things you should follow. If you are in the field, you may be a veteran. You may, may be an entrant. These things you should follow. The fact is, unfortunately, Mr. Pranav got up, but I'll give you the tax treatment. The tax treatment for preliminary expenses is it is written off over a period of eight years. It is written off over a period of max eight years. Why? Because a preliminary expense, preliminary expense are technically expenses the benefits of which you get over a period of time. The benefits of which you get over a period of time. So tax authorities allow you to write off that expense over a period of time. But the period is defined max eight years. See, what technically it means is, let me explain this right in very simplified manner. Suppose your 
preliminary expenses, 80 crores. Income tax says, right, you can write off over eight years. Write off, what does it mean, sir, sir? What does it mean is, every year, right, every year, Anil Menon, right, can take a choice that we will write off 10 crores. So I'll just show you this simple.